Hi guys, welcome back. How you guys doing today? I am doing good. This is, um, what day is this? This is a Tuesday for me at least. I don't know what day this is when you're seeing the video, but I'm sitting in the parking lot waiting to go into my doctor appointment. Just a routinely um, checkup that I always get, you know, every so many months. And I got here super duper early. I got here like maybe 45 minutes early. So, and that's fine because, you know, I need time to unwind from being on the freeway, you know, with the crazy drivers and everything. So, um, excuse my appearance. I don't have a stitch of lipstick on or anything. And I wasn't even planning on doing a vlog, but I just thought since I'm sitting here, so long I thought about you guys so I just thought I'd come on and just do a few minutes of chit chat how was your Father's Day celebration for those of you who still have your fathers and so I hope you guys had a great one um, for me I would say it was it was a pleasant one um, me and my son we took my husband out for dinner um, Gave him some nice cards. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to see my dad, my daddy. Um, like I told you guys before in my last video, I believe, or two videos before that. You know, he's still in the hospital, as far as I know, he is. Uh, that's the last time I, last time I had heard, he's still in the hospital. Um, trying to recover um, I'm not gonna go into what really happened at least not right now I might do that sometime in the future I wouldn't mind sharing it but right now I guess you know I'm not ready for that I didn't get a chance to see him and the reason I've shared this much somebody's walking by talking <laughs> the reason why I wasn't able to see him um, because about a month ago, uh, when he woke up out of his, um, you know, when they put you to sleep, uh, I don't know what that's called, not coma, but when they sedate you, when he came out of his heavy sedation, um, he saw my brother and he got really, really upset, I guess, because he wasn't expecting to see anybody there, I suppose. And he may feel shame and guilty and whatnot. But anywho, um, I was told that per patient and per doctor, that my dad is not to receive any more visitors nor receive any more calls. So we cannot call and check on him and see how he is um, not even children except for my younger sister because apparently she may be handling everything and you know so I'm excluded from visiting as well <laughs> now guys without going into detail and without saying anything mean because I'm not doing that but I'm just kind of like just sharing a little bit you know of how I feel um, of course that doesn't go too well with me I um, I don't like how things are one thing I do I do thank God that my dad is still alive um, because it was touch and go and if he had not made it on this earth then that would have been a terrible Father's Day for me it, it really would have but in spite of me not being able to see him or talk to him or anything like that um, I'm just glad that I did the tablescape you know in honor of him as well of course my husband too but in honor of my dad I shared some pictures and in my heart I feel I honored him 
even though I wasn't able to speak with him or see him, I still honor him in my heart. And when he gets home from the hospital, um, when he's ready to talk to uh, people, because he said that, um, you know, oh, my arm is shaking. Hold on. I don't have you guys on a car mount because uh, I can't get it to position right. So I'm kind of shaking, so I'm trying not to shake. So I'm sorry about that. I'm going to have to be going in in a few minutes anyway. But um, every all the family was told that my daddy will, he doesn't want to see anybody. He will talk to everybody, call everybody when he gets home. So I'm thinking, well, Liz, you may not like it. You may feel that it might be it may not be personal I guess I I'm probably taking it a little personal because my youngest sister not my youngest sister my sister and I do believe my brother um, I believe especially her she's able to be with him all the time um, and you can imagine how that makes me feel. It doesn't make me feel very good. I, you know, I don't think that it's right. But you know what? I have chosen to have the attitude that I'm just going to let God handle it. Let God handle my sister. Let God handle the situation. Let God handle my dad. You know, if, if it's not right... God just has to deal with it because I, I can't. You know, I was stressing out over it, you know, some weeks back. And I just decided to say, okay, my health is more important. I cannot afford to stress out over it. I just cannot afford to. So I stopped. And I just said, okay, well, I'm just going leave to it, leave it alone. Since things are the way it is, just leave it alone. Don't even worry about it because I can't change it I can't change my daddy's mind I mean he has the right um, to not want visitors for whatever reason or reasons that he feels you know so I'm just respecting it I drove my mother and my son down there some weeks back all of a sudden I get a text as I'm driving well of course I could not I couldn't check it but I'm like Who's, who is texting me this early in the morning? So we finally get to the hospital and I park and everything. And all of a sudden I looked and it was my sister texting me and saying um, there's to be no visitors, no more visitors for my daddy. Uh, no phone calls. Everyone has to go through her. Now... Yes, I was angry. I was upset, disappointed, and I thought to myself, I don't believe this. We just got here. <laughs> I can't even see my own daddy, and I'm the eldest? But you can see him? Now, come on, you guys. I know you can understand how I feel. Not good. That was hard to swallow. Oh, yeah, I was very angry. So... Me and my mother, we had to go use the restroom. We went in there, and then my mother was asking me to, you know, call up there. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to call because we were told not to be making any more phone calls. So she did on her own. I said, yeah, you can do it on your own because I'm not, uh-uh. I'm, I don't want anyone more upset or I don't want to make the hospital angry. So if you want to do that, it's going to be on you. So we, um, she did, she called, and then we were told that my sister would be down to speak to us. So I stood in the, in the, um, the lobby once my mother came out of the bathroom, and all of a sudden I just started to feel like, no, I think it's best for me to go sit in the car with my son. I chose to go do that uh, because I, I wanted to make sure that everything was peaceful. I wanted to make sure that I was able to um, control my emotions in case something is said by my sister to upset me or I 
say something. I don't want any provoking. I don't want any 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 riff between us. Uh, there already is, but I mean, I didn't want anything to escalate. So I told my mother, yeah, I think I'm doing the right thing. I'm going to go in the car and just sit. If anything changes, you can call me and I'll bring my son and we'll come up. Well, I had already seen my, my uh, dad before. My mother hadn't seen him and my son hadn't seen him. So um, I see him and I wanted to see him again as well. But we were turned away and everybody's being turned away. So it's just a waiting type of a thing. Um, I just have to wait until he is ready to talk and, you know, to have visitors. So that's pretty much how my Father's Day, um, how it felt. I was able to celebrate my husband, of course, but I felt kind of emotional on and off. Sometimes I would cry a little bit, I guess because just built up emotions coming up and I felt sad because I didn't get a chance to acknowledge him and I had even I thought about and I even told my husband I said you know what maybe I'll take my daddy out for breakfast and then take you out for dinner that was before he had went into the hospital I was just kind of planning it in my head but unfortunately you know with him in the hospital that didn't happen so I said well Maybe next year. We'll see. Just have to see how his health is. It's, um, you know, the things that he's going through is pretty serious, but not life-threatening, but, but serious. Um, it could alter his ability to function on a daily basis. I don't know. But anyway, I appreciate you guys' prayers. And for those of you who continue to pray for him, please do. And I thank you so much. Pray for me too. Thank you. But anyway, that's how the Father's Day went. I didn't get a chance to see my dad, but me and my husband and Aaron, we went out to a restaurant called BJ's. I don't know if you guys have that out there, but it's a nice restaurant. And um, uh, he and my son, they had something delicious. Oh my gosh. They had food that I'm not eating anymore. And I couldn't find anything really good all their salads, they had chicken in it, and I didn't want to have them prepare it and not put chicken in it, but I wasn't going to eat it anyway. So what I decided to get was a thing of broccoli, just plain steamed broccoli, and a boring salad. <laughs> and I say boring because it was boring, but it was good. At least I was able to eat something, and um, you know we enjoyed the day. So hope you guys enjoy but anyway it is almost time and I hope I'm not late but I'm gonna have to go and I'll catch you guys back later okay guys I'm back in the car about to leave the doctor's appointment I have some good news and I'm very happy about uh, I came in here to have uh, just a regular follow-up on my thyroid because uh, in the past I've you know had um, you know like little cyst type things but the doctor told me that my thyroid is completely normal Woo! I am so happy you guys that is good news because I asked him the last time I was here I asked him if I could stop taking you know the medication that he has me on because I said well you know I know my hair is messed up oh boy I said, if, if I don't need any medicine, then there's no need for me to take it. The only way for me to know that is to take, you know, for you to do some more labs and have an ultrasound. So that's what I did, and I got good news, you know. No more thyroid medication. That is just awesome, you guys. Thank God. <laughs> I am just so thankful. And I do believe, not just prayer, prayer is the first thing that did it but I think the second thing that's really helping a lot is my diet and exercise changing my diet not eating all of those um, processed foods meats and all that crap so that's what's really helping me so I am just very happy I'm relieved <sighs> and I'm thankful so now I can sigh and just say thank you Lord thank you Lord 
report, a good report. You know how sometimes, the, you know, the devil will even mess with your mind sometimes and have you have all kind of thoughts come to your mind and everything. And I'm like, nope, mm -mm, nope. <laughs> no, you better leave me alone, devil, because I have the victory. So now I've got this long drive back home. It took me about a little over an hour to get from one city to another. And it will probably take me less than that to get back home, depending on the traffic. Um, so, that's it for right now. But I just want to share that with you guys. At first, I wasn't going to talk about it, but I said, shoot, this is good news. I just have to let you guys in on the good news. So, I hope your day is going well. Mine is going well, especially after hearing that. My, my day is going so Super, and I mean super. So yeah, I'm gonna go home and um, start working on dinner, get my food together, cause you know, the only thing I had for breakfast was a cup of coffee, and I had maybe a small handful of grapes and some sunflower seeds, uns unsalted. So now I'm starting to feel a little more hungry like I need something solid now so that's what I'm gonna do go on home and fix something to eat and start working on dinner I will see you guys very soon okay I have finally made it home and look at this delicious food I'm about to tear it up it's a beautiful garden salad. I have all the trimmings in it, a pasta salad, and some beans. All right, guys, I hope you have enjoyed my chit chat that I gave you guys earlier. Why don't teens like to close the door? They always barely close the door, I tell you. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for tuning back in, and I hope you guys have an awesome day. Uh, if it's too hot, just try to stay cool, because I know I'm going to try to stay cool as much as possible. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this food. And I will see you guys and talk to you later in my next video. And I'm sorry for my look because I don't have any makeup on. I know I'm looking sleepy, but that's okay. I went to the doctor, so who wants to get all made up for, for, the, for the doctor, right? Or not me. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.